aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up guys and welcome to another smoke on tier change video. It really feels like I haven't done these in forever, but clearly the tier has been very very sporadic, so finally the tiers are kind of settling and there are a few changes here which are really relevant to talk about. And also I want to make a small update, of course, about while I has been in the videos. I've been very, very sick, been having flu and having a lot of high fever. And uh, basically what that had made me is that I haven't had any uploads or and I could I I didn't have any voice or anything. So sorry about that. I've been feeling very, very lacking here. Hopefully we get more videos now that I'm getting better. I'm still not well, but you know, I'm definitely better. And this is, of course, the most and most important video to make. So it's going to be a bit more lazy made. I'm going to just have this, basically the text of the, the changes that was made and just talking about why that happened. So without further ado, here are the changes made. So the first and biggest change, of course, in the Crossman moving from UU to RU. And I did state that um, Necrozma is not broken in RU on Twitter. Uh, I, I want to take that back. I, I feel like I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, Necrozma is not the most impressive Pokemon. It's a very, very um, supporting, super defensive psychic type and haven't been doing all that well uh, in UU. It's, it's basically it's what Cresselia is and that's kind of the reason I want to enforce is that, that it's basically a worse Cresselia but with a better defensive distribution and a better, clearly a better move pool to some extent depending on how you view it. But, um, Cresselia is still in RU actually at this moment and this might be very well that both Necrozma and of course Cresselia is going to be moving up to UU because they are e extremely relevant in those tiers. But with that said, that's an issue and um, yeah, Necrozma is very very powerful in RU. Uh, there are still Pokemon such as of course Escavalzier, um, Heracross, who could deal with this Pokemon properly. And of course, you got Draper and other Pokémon that are defensive enough to be capable of dealing with the Crossma. But I feel that you are forced to do super effective damage to necessarily kill it, and that's the thing. It's a very hard to kill with the ability of course Prism Mama. So yeah, it's a very very tough Pokémon to deal with, and uh, I, I don't see it staying. Uh, Kingra from Yu Yu to Ryu. I don't know if this is gonna stay this time around. It actually got moved to a BL last generation uh, or BL2. It got moved down to RU, and once, of course, the Drizzle was banned from, of course, any other format other than OU, Kingdra's relevance kind of died off. It was super, super potent in, of course, UU, and it's still potent in OU, but without the rain, Kingdra is not as scary to be dealing with, and I guess that's the reason it has moved down, because Drizzle got banned pretty, was it, actually a few weeks ago, so it's very, very likely that it moved down due to that alone, actually. And then we have Flygon moving from UU to RU. And yeah, it seems like Dragon Dad didn't push the boundaries for this Pokemon whatsoever. While the users alone on Flygon is, of course, moved up due to it actually getting Dragon Dance, it still may or may not actually be too much for it. And um, it's moved down. I, I, like I said, I very, very likely see it stay in RU. And this time is great because it actually took. Well, not years for it to fall down, it actually fell down pretty darn fast. Let's hope it stays in RU. Like I said, it's not it's not that scary. Um, so I see the reason why it's fall down. Uh, Haxor's move from RU to UU. Ooh, that's, um, that's a tough thing. Hear me out on this. Haxor's super incredibly gr great in RU. Uh, very hard to stop, even with, of course, the lack of fairies. There really aren't that many potent fairies. And... Uh, I can easily see why it was moved up, and of course, um, Poison C, which of course, if you, or if you want to go with a course crew of um, attack, but of course, it says Steelium C. Uh, Haxor's basically got an opening, which is very, very great for it. With Dragon Dance, you don't have to carry Yasha Berry, you have the damage output for your possible checks. So, um, yeah, Haxor's might be a bit stronger, are you? And I'm not seeing it coming back to are you by any chance. Um, basically, since Salamence got so widely used in um, now in OU due to, of course, the C moves, Hexers may actually fill a spot that Salamence have been having for quite some time in UU. So I'm just saying, there's a reason that Hexers has, have get, gotten some extra light, and I, I really applaud them for it because Hexers is awesome. Uh, Entei, RU to UU. 
no words and say is oh just the best really um, damn i hate that mon it's the best thing in ru it's uh, it's unrivaled with power alone so uh, i'm glad it went down uh, should be mentioned also uh, Sukun actually was uh, RU also has been quick ban to UU after this, so yeah, they, they, they're clearly are to OP for it here. Uh, Manta and UU to RU. I am pretty sure Manta will pendle between UU and RU. It's definitely gonna stay in RU. That I'm sure of. Uh, super defensive, Roost and Defog. Yeah, it's definitely one of the more impressive Defoggers in this generation. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think it's gonna shift a lot. Definitely gonna depend on the tiers. Uh, I do believe it's going to maintain RU though, it could be moving up to U again, but it would be just for a spike in usage, which I don't see in it having again after of course, most people are really using that. And Nidoking from RU to UU feels very relevant, bit unsure why Nidoking was more used than Queen. Don't get me wrong here, I know Nidoking is more offensive, but um, really... Queen is, in my honest opinion, due to defenses alone, has more defensive and offensive openings. So, a bit surprised that people prefer Nidoking, King, but then again, Nidoking King is very, very good too. And, uh, you know, the sheer force stuff, I mean, it's always tough to be dealing with. And it's kind of great seeing that um, RU definitely wasn't holding it as a cage, as a UU Mon, born and bred basically. Uh, Delmi's moving from UU to RU. A bit surprised about this. Delmis is terrible in UU. It has close to no relevance in that tier. Um, it's very good in RU though. Uh, definitely dealing with a few fairies in the tier. Uh, it's speed enough to do a lot of things. So, I actually got a quick ban in the Alpha RU. Seeing it move back is just interesting. It's really all I can say. Uh, I definitely feel that Mies is doing very well from RU. I really want it to stay, but it could very well be voted for a ban. Just because of its mixed defenses, what is having 100 defense and 90 in special defense and then 131 base attack. It, it's, it's strong. It's very strong. It's hard to switch into. It has three possible stabs. With, of course, the anchor shot. But yeah, I think there's where it all ends. Delmi is very, very powerful. I'm, I would be surprised seeing it stay in RU. Um, beware from Yu Yu to RU. I think that's good. Beware has not doing too well in Yu Yu, and um, mainly because of all the psychic types just pushing it. Um, so uh, beware should do better here at least. But Reuniclus is still active, and as long as Reuniclus is active, I do believe Beware can struggle. But yeah, outside of that, Beware is a very very good defensive option. It's a very good anti. Um, hyper offensive team due to of course the fluffy ability and maintaining itself relatively healthy so yeah I want to see how this goes I really do uh, Darmanitan RU to UU not surprised though I wanted of course Entei to go before and then Darmanitan stay in and get Mudo after uh, but Darmanitan is very good it's a very high speed here so I'm not surprised it's a very very good uh, Scarfer and um, yeah it's relevance is there mainly Come on, you you to are you? Not surprised, dear reader. Same reason as Blagon, the damage output just isn't there. Uh, while Kamo has a very very good mixed attack and a very good mixed defense, it doesn't spike anywhere and it's very hard to use due to it. So, um, are you might as well be its number one tier, and I think that's kind of sad. Kamo still for me it was one of those Pokemon that stood out. From the get-go as you know oh it has the amazing stabs finally but it just doesn't have the stabs or the attacks for its stabs to do well missing out of course aura sphere green punch close combat all that jazz and it really really is holding it back so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if it stayed are you but um, at the same time it is speed enough in my honest opinion to of course have a tournament or a, a dragon dance to do very well for the matchups that are uh, definitely when Pokemon such as, of course, Haxorus and Entei not being in the tier anymore, who knows how ferocious Kamo really can be. Uh, they've got Almamola from RU to UU, and uh, that's the thing though with Almamola, it has a possibility of all the shifting tiers. The only thing that surprised me is that it, um, that Slowbro is staying RU for the moment, but Almamola didn't. 
Uh, Alamola, Wish, Healing Wish, of course, and with the Rain, Bristle, and Hydration. There are a lot of things going on with Alamola that made it really, really good. I don't think it's going to stay UU when it's just for the Imagination, but it is a proper shake for a lot of things, for and for different reasons. Alamola is one of those Pokemon that just can soak hit after hit and stall. And um, in our U, it's very good at the moment, actually. But um, is it good enough for UU? That's very unlikely. But I'm still kind of glad to see Alamoa actually has been shed some light God and a lot of, well, I guess you should say kind of fan service for, of course, its defensive capabilities. They wanted the best land of Shex, but that's for all you, so it has a niche there. But I don't know how long that niche reaches when it comes to UU at all at this generation, actually. So yeah, that's the tier list. Um, I hope you guys, of course, got some some information out of this. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn basic and... Um, you know, the best part about tier listing is, of course, that you know, we get to play with new toys. I am definitely going to give a combo around Prince Money now in Ario. I definitely feel that that's going to be interesting. Delmise is also going to be super, super relevant because you kind of need Delmise for <clears throat> the Necrozma. I kind of feel that that's going to be a thing. But yeah, you know, go out and play is basically what I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, expect more from me tomorrow. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care. Bye.